again, I was <laughs> in Dallas through all those years you were there. In fact, I was there longer than you and spent a lot of time around Jerry. And he does love him some Tony Romo. And I do think that, you know, the city of Dallas is prone to this nuclear overreaction to a loss. And heaven forbid if they manage to screw it up at Cleveland this Sunday. But the game I'm looking at, and I've been dreading for a long time, is the game back in your hometown of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, which is the next Sunday. I'm pretty sure, I don't know if Ben's going to play this Sunday or not, but I'm pretty sure he's going to play against Dallas the following Sunday. So I still think Dak is one loss away from the bench. And if they, let's just do the hypothetical, they go to Pittsburgh and get it handed to them because Pittsburgh at home can just blow people away if they get hot, speaking of hot hands. Yeah. And if, if the defense can't hold up for whatever reason and Dak has a, a shaky early performance like he did against Philly and they just can't come back because they get too far behind, I just think it's made to order to say, you know what, Dak did a great job, this young man, and, and this would be a, a monumental mistake to hand it back to Tony because Jerry has referred to chemistry. And as you know from football, yeah. once you get it going, you've got to let it keep going. I'm with that. I, I wish Jerry had made a public statement of this is Dak Prescott's job for the rest of the year. Win, lose, or draw, we're going with the kid from here on. But he has not made that statement. But yeah, but I think that, you know, it's all about what's going on in that locker room and what those players are feeling. And last week was a huge win for those guys, as we all know. You know what I mean? And and Dak brought him back and he made plays. I, I just don't see there being a change at all. I really don't, unless they have to, unless they have to. One loss would not do it for me. Okay. If we lost a football game, I, you, hey, I, the defense gives up two big passes, mm -hmm. somebody falls down, they get beat for a touchdown, so yep. you're going to bench your quarterback because you lost the game. That I don't think that would sit well if, with the team. Down 10 points in the fourth quarter to a division rival, your rookie quarterback drives, ties the ball game up, gets you into overtime, Goals 75, 80 yards in 10 or 12 plays. If you can't get behind him after that performance, you're not getting behind mm -hmm. him. I agree. Okay. See, it, it was easy. that was the uh, skip. That, I'm with you, coach. That was I'm, the golden opportunity. That was the moment after what you saw a division rival down 10, a rookie quarterback on this stage in prime time. Well, he comes back, ties the ball game, gets you into overtime, and it's flawless mm -hmm. in overtime. If you can't get behind him after that game, says that's my guy. We riding with him from here on out. Mm -hmm. You don't say he had a hot hand. A hot hand doesn't do this. Mm -hmm. A hot hand doesn't win six out of seven. Okay, Dave went through this and helped me out with the year ninety one with Steve Berline. Yes, when you got on a late roll and Troy Aikman was out with a sprained knee and he was supposed to be gone for maybe four to six weeks. And he was ready to go. And Jimmy said, "Nope, I'm sticking with Steve." But Steve was not a rookie. He had some stripes. You know, he'd won some stripes. I forget where he'd been before that, but he was, he, he had some experience mm -hmm. to him. And it, th this is a fourth round pick out of Mississippi State, a raw rookie who's playing like a 10 year veteran. And yet, Troy was not, he hadn't arrived yet. He, hadn't, he wasn't a Pro Bowl quarterback. And Tony's a Pro Bowl quarterback. Right. He doesn't have many playoff stripes, but. You know, d don't underestimate, and I think people do, the importance of performing live on the stage. Tony Romo, great player. No question about that. It's been a while since he's been in there You're right. playing right. against live competition. Right. I mean, who's to say he's not going to go in right off the bat his first time? Right. A lot different than playing seven-on-seven, seven, like Joy said, and playing catch. 